guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Sims 3 Into the Future LP Part 10. I have not played this LP in a couple of weeks just because, you know, I wasn't really feeling it, but now that I'm back into the game, I'm like, oh yeah, let's start playing this, let's get into it, you know what I mean? So, when we left off, we are still in the utopian future, and we're probably only going to be here for this part, and then we're going to go back home, and then we're going to go to the, I think it's called the dystop dystopian um, future, and uh, which is pretty much like the, the wrecked, completely, you know, the terrible future, I guess, I don't know, the, the future that uh, is just not the prettiest, um, I guess you could say, um, but... And then after, okay, let me kind of explain what I want to do. Pretty much, I'm going to go to that future, and we're going to play in there for a little while. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come home, and we're going to go back to the normal Oasis Landings. And uh, we are going to get pregnant, and we're going to live in Oasis Landings. And I've actually begun to build a little house, um, which we can hopefully, possibly, you know, live in in the future. Um, it's I haven't really done anything to it quite yet, so... I've only furnished uh, one floor, and it has, like, no landscaping and nothing around it, but it will be their beginner home. Um, I'm not the best house builder ever, uh, so can I find it? Uh, so it's going to take me, you know, a while because I'm not going to build the second house. My friend, who is amazing, um, hopefully I can go see her soon, <laughs> is going to make it for me. Um, but here's what I got so far for the beginning home. Uh, now, I know, you're thinking, WTF, this is so ratchet, like, I can't, it's not done yet. Um, I just, I kind of inspired it from this house right here, which <laughs> looks amazing, and I'm gonna cry. Um, but yeah, this is the beginner home, and, um, the first, if you guys can see that, it's kind of like, here, here is going, I can't really speak, sorry, here right here is the living room, here right here, <laughs> okay, then here's the kitchen right here, and then this would be the dining room, and then upstairs, um, there is going to be other types of, you know, furnishing and stuff in there, um, so that's the best way I could describe it, but, um, it's not done, like I said, there's a lot that actually needs to be done to that house, and I don't even know if we're actually going to use that, we'll see, but, um, we have to win the lottery first, because it's expensive, um, so, let's go ahead and get back into it. In this part, what I actually want to do is enter a bot building, co um, contest, and try to win, uh, the contest. So, I'm actually going to have Brandy and Cosma enter the, um, the no I can't food. I can't talk the contest and how you're asking I'm gonna have um Miss Brandy right here put on that little plum bot uh, costume that I was making fun of in like the first part or so I was like what the hell are you wearing well now I know okay so Lily has just improved her advanced technology skill to level three Lily can now uh, have additional dream pod dreams uh, program the spear of destiny recipe on the Food synthesizer and the future sprite of the hollow disc. Cool. Um, cool, cool. Alrighty, so I'm gonna show you guys like the little costume for the second time. Okay, her uh, her dew just wore off. So here it is. This is what we're gonna try to win this little plum bot costume in. So I'm gonna put Cosma and Brandy in there, and uh, pretty much, you know, it's kind of cool because when you have this little costume on, you can come to the bot arena right here and actually um, enter it. But it doesn't start for another four hours. Um, so we're just gonna, you know, go without our go without our day. What go on with our day and uh, just see what's up. So let's go ahead and take care of some of our needs. Uh, let's go use the toilet. actually need to repair that. Really, I'm so excited to move out of here. Once we go back into the present, we're going to try once again to win the lottery, and we're going to keep trying because uh, I really am dying to move out of here. There's like too much going on. They break everything, and I'm just like really excited to move out of here, even though, you know, this is an amazing place. It has everything that your sims need and more, but you know, to have your own place is amazing, so I'm excited for that. Cosma, I have the power. <laughs> Alright, I'm actually going to have her go do a little quick charge uh, because she 
needs to do that before she goes and enters a contest just so she's completely ready. I'm not sure how this works. Like I told you guys, this is my first time ever doing this, so I'm a little unwary of how this is all going to work. Um, but I'm actually going to come over here and let's see. Let's talk to a little fellow over here. Um, you look way too happy and kind of creepy. Ew. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk to... Hmm, Who's he? CJ Daniels, future resident. <laughs> okay. Ju Juniper Luna, future resident. He's actually really pretty. Really pretty eyes. Crazy beard. Crazy mohawk. But beautiful eyes. Ew, he's wearing eyeliner though. Um, I want to see, like, I really like him. He's really pretty. Very pretty eyes. Um, I'm gonna wait until I find a person that I'm like, like, stands out to me, you know what I mean? So, until then, Lily is single. But once I find somebody who, like, stands out, I might even have to create somebody that stands out to me. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I want somebody who I'm like, whoa, you know what I mean? They are awesome. And ah, yeah, you just, I'm gonna wait for that special someone, I guess. Um, all right, he wants to return to the present. We definitely will. Buy a plum butt. We will do that in the future as well. Why is everybody booing him? That poor kid. All right. Let's see. Cody. Cody, Cody. Why don't you head down to the, um, right here to the Bot Emporium and, uh, see if we can do anything there. Maybe work on our, uh, building skills a little bit. Not our building skills. Our bot building skills a little bit. And, uh, see what we can do with there. All right, Brandy, where are you? She's right here. She's in a pretty good mood. All right, go ahead and uh, see. Let's go play with your jetpack. Start using it. Yeah, let's come outside and play around a little bit. You too, Lily. Lily, come on out. Want to use that for a little bit and, you know, play around with it. There's, like, a lot of cool things that you can do with the jetpack. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, play around with it a little bit see. Lily. Oh, you don't have your jetpack. I just remembered. I took it away from you. Oh, here, Lily. Sorry. Start using your jetpack. Brandy, uh, go ahead and, uh, fly around a little bit. Come here. Why don't you go ahead and, uh, okay, well, you need to step away from her. <laughs> okay. And why don't you go ahead and fly around now? Oh! Oh my gosh, that is terrifying. That is what I would be terrified to even use a jetpack. Look at her in the sky. She is like, no, no. But look how beautiful the sky is. It's so freaking blue. It looks beautiful. All right, well, let's watch Brandy fall to the ground. And there she goes. All right, and then Lily's over here doing her thing with the jetpack. It's pretty cool. If you're asking me. Oh my goodness. She's so terrible at it. She's like, what the hell? Oh, she looks so scared. <laughs> oh, poor Lily. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the uh, bot arena. And uh, enter it. So let's go ahead and activate robot mode and then um, have Cosma head on over here as well and enter the competition. We're going to enter, ooh, I don't know. We have the battle bot, emoji botting, and bot building. We're going to enter the battle bot beginners. I really don't think she'll do well in that, but we'll try. And then I'm going to have uh, Brandy go ahead and enter the bot building beginner competition. So uh, let's see how far, you know, this little bot 
this little bot costume is going to take us. It probably won't do us too good, you know. I'm not really sure how this works. Kind of reminds me of the equestrian competitions that came with pets. Uh, you have beginning, or inter intermediate, and um, what is it? Last one and advanced. Oh, international. Oh, cool. Let's see. Cosma always had some aggressive, don't know that word, all grill themes, <laughs> rattling around in her processor. Put up your dukes in the lightweight stimulated combat cost contest. Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place today. All right. Let's see. Go for broke. Cosma, go for broke. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. What is the, What am I looking at right now? Uh, 11th place is what I'm looking at. 11th place. Come on, Cosma. Come on. Take risks. Take a risk. Come on. <laughs> you guys got this. Come on. Look at Brandy's little picture right here. <laughs> She's so cute in her little costume. Cosma doesn't have one. I don't know why not. Go for broke again. Eighth place. Right, come on. Tenth place. Eighth? Come on, guys. They're both in eighth place right now. Alright. Brandy's getting up there, kind of. These last pretty long, if you ask me. I think these last longer than the equestrian competitions. Ah, oh, she needs repair. Great. Just great. Alright, let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, she's not doing too good, but she does need repairing, which sucks. We'll have to do that right after this, because that's going down really quick, and I don't know what's going to happen afterwards. Oh, no. She's in first place! Keep it that way! Stay! Stay that way! Oh! <laughs> yes, Brandy! Oh, yes! We won! Come on out. Oh, yes. We won first place and we got a trophy. All right, we actually need to go ahead and repair um, Cosma, which I think we just do a tune-up on her uh, to fix that. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and tune her up. Oh, that's so exciting. And I think we got like 500 simoleons from it. Congratulations, Cosma. Placed fifth place. Enjoy your prize money. Brandy has placed first place in the Pewter Plumbot Construction Contest. Super, oh, superb job. In addition to the prize money, Brandy has received a trophy and an adoration of the crowd. Oh. Brandy Freeman knows her way around the bot workshops, but entering in the Pewter Plumbot Construction Contest is nerve-wracking. But she won, so don't don't even. I think Cosma's tuning herself up. She still needs repairing though. Oh no, she doesn't anymore. We're still gonna give her like a little tune up real quick. It's awesome though. All right, good. We're gonna go ahead and ask about her day and make a silly face and uh, we're gonna show off our flying skills to Cosma in our costume. <laughs> like you have to see it, I've been working on it for a whole two minutes. She's like in the building. Stay up there. Impress Cosma. Okay, enough of that. Oh, of course. Of course, Brandy. You would. Alright. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and give her a high five and head back. Uh, and, um, yeah. Brandy isn't feeling so hot, blah, 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 from the jetpack. <laughs> Free flying. A recent aerial joyride using a jetpack has Brandy's adrenaline pumping. What a great trip to the danger zone. All right, Cosma, why don't you go ahead and head home? You definitely need to uh, 
Go charge yourself and well tuned. After that recent tune up, Cosmo feels fantastic. Every component is oiled up and performing at optimal levels. Awesome. That's great. She feels awesome. I feel awesome when Cosmo feels awesome. Um, so we are going to go tune up for the night. And in the morning, we are going to head back to the present. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, charge it up a little bit. Uh, Lily, go ahead and go to sleep. And uh, we're going to go ahead and have these two go to bed. Alrighty. I actually had a really good idea. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. So I'm not going to say it quite yet. But I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, so I went ahead and traveled back to the present time. And I'm going to go have Cody go by. Oh, look how pretty the water looks. It looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, that is too cool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and have Cody go buy another lottery ticket. Hopefully, hopefully we will win. Probably won't. Um that's how the lottery works it's rare and yeah it's rather disappointing but we're gonna go buy a lotto ticket and hopefully you know there's that chance <laughs> so you know one funny thing actually uh when i um my dad when i was younger my dad used to purchase a lotto ticket every single day and there was actually one time where he was like one number off or something like that and he was screaming at like 3 a.m in the morning he was like i won i won and my mom came out and checked and actually he did not win at all and it was rather sad I always used to have the same dream. I'd, I'd like dream about having a credit card with one million dollars on it and just a so like this huge shopping spree. I always had that dream. Always. Like it's, like it's, I would daydream about it. It was awesome. Alrighty, Cody. Look at everybody out here. It's summertime in the present. So uh, everybody's out here. The kids are doing their homework. People are reading over here. These two are talking about getting married or something. And then you have this. Then you have that. Enough said. Oh, gosh. Let's go whack her on the nose for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah. Put the crow away. Put the crow away. Just go smack her. Go smack her. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ew. Um, let's go ahead and actually edit the town real quick. And uh, let's put something down. Some uh, community lots to play around with. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's put down. I don't know what I want to put down. Let's put the Alfresco Street Market down somewhere. I think that'd be fun. We could, you know, start like a little garden and bring our some of our veggies there to go sell. And I think that'd be like a lot of fun. So uh, let me see. What can I, where can I place this? We'll do it right here maybe. Kind of want it in the center of town, but there's like no room up here. Uh, unless I get rid of the performance park, which I won't. Um, let me see. Right here, possibly up here in the mountains i'm pretty sure there was places mm. oh how big is the lot 40 by 40 how big is this 40 by 30 oh, of course uh this is 64 by 64 which is way too big 40 by 30 come on man come on 30 by 30 i just need a 40 by 40 is that asking for too much apparently it is 40 by 40 right here, even though it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. I guess we can do this. Community, we're going to name it a uh, Visitors Allowed. And place that right here. Okay. So now we'll have the Alfresco Street Market here, which actually is from the store. It was meant, to, it came out the same day that Monte Vista came out. Um, Monte Vista. Love Monte Vista. Um, did I call it Monte Vista? I don't even know. Is it Monte or Monta? I think it's Monte. Or I'm thinking of Monte Carlo. I th I'm a terrible swimmer. I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure it's Monta. Monte? Monte Vista. Monte Vista. I just haven't played in that town for quite some time. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll just put that down for now. Uh, we'll 
the stones throw greenhouse is pretty cool too but we'll wait um and uh yes let's have cody actually we'll have brandy go visit it it's right here uh, this is an awesome venue. Personally, I like the way that it looks, so I, I do like this venue. Um, and I would highly recommend it for people who like to garden and just like, especially if you own, um, Monte Vista, I would totally put this in there for sure. Um, pretty much you have, like, your kids can come here and they can tend the stands and, um, sell lemons and everything because lemons came with uh the new world and then right here you know you can tend the stand purchase you know fresh goodies and it's really cool so i like it but we're gonna come here and maybe purchase some fresh uh vegetables and fruits and stuff and i think that'd be cool so we're gonna come here and purchase some um i don't think there's a sales clerk here all right i guess we can just do this um, let's see. Let's go ahead and purchase, uh, 10 pomegranates. Oh, there's only 10 supplies of them. I haven't used this in forever. So we'll, uh, buy three of those. And let's buy some cherries. That sounds pretty yummy. All right. <laughs> Got ripped off. I'm sure you did. Those prices were outrageous. But you now have cherries. We can't plant them. Uh, I don't think we can because she's not a high enough gardening skill, but we'll see. Uh, but she can eat them. Who doesn't want to eat freaking pomegranates? I love pomegranates. Who doesn't want to eat cherries? I love cherries. I also like how cherries, uh, stay in my lips red because I usually just put on cherry chapstick as like my lip product and cherry chapstick gives you kind of like a reddish tint to your lips, uh, kind of like Benetint from Benefit, which I also use all the time. Um, it just kind of gives you that like little... Uh, appearance, which I really like. Yeah, see, she needs a level seven and a level five. Yeah, we're too lazy to do that. Um, actually, yeah, we're we're too lazy to do that. Okay, we need to actually buy some shelves. Actually, 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 we need to buy some shelves uh, for her competition trophies. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, real quick, right here. And go ahead and place her trophy up there. Okay, let's take a look at this like little trophy here. So it is pretty much a uh, plum bot sitting at a uh, what are those things? A podium, like accepting a, a award or something. So it's kind of cute. It's really cute, actually. All right. So we're gonna eat a pomegranate actually i don't think we're hungry so why waste it those were expensive um cody what are you doing cody where are you oh right he went and bought a lotto ticket and now he's where is he now he's at lars discotheque which we actually need i off screen i will go ahead and edit these and put in some professional bars and stuff and edit over here a little so our sims can come here have some drinks maybe get a little juiced or something while they're here and uh I think that'd be fun, you know, seeing all of them get juiced and everything. I think that'd be hilarious, actually. Um, okay, so I don't think I want to try for a baby in this part, because I do want to go to the dystopian future, which I hopefully am saying that right, um, before I do anything. Let's see. Reach level 10 and advanced technology skill on a blah, 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 blah. Lily, uh, she needs to actually go home. She is home. What am I talking about? She needs to work on her Rhythmicon skill because that's the statue that we're working towards. So let's come over here and work with that. And uh, Cody, why don't you come home and put away the crow? <laughs> Our friendly crow. And um, all right, Brandy, why don't you come out here and uh, design some trait chips? Look at her jamming. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my gosh. I love it. She's getting better. Slowly but surely. 
Cody, come home. Cody, I told you to freaking come home. Put the damn crow away. He's like, but I want to keep the crow with me. No, you need to put the crow away. Um, let's see. Brandy Freeman has discovered all the trait chip uh, somatics that can be designed at her current bot building skill level. Oh, okay. Let's see. I kind of want to just go pick up a book uh, for bot building, but I'm not sure if they sell those. I would assume that they do. I would assume that they do. Um, so let's see. Um, let's see. Let's go check out the bookstore really quick and uh, check that out. I'm pretty sure we bought one or maybe I'm just staging because I haven't played this in a while. But let's uh, go ahead and shop for some books really quick and I think they would. You know, it's a new skill level. I'm, I'm almost positive that they would. Let's see. Um, 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 uh, we have science. Um, but we don't need science. Actually, I don't see a bot building. I don't see a bot building. Nope. Maybe? Nope. I don't. Damn, man. I, that was that would be so easy. No. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll go home for a little bit. And work on some nanites then. Let's go do that. Uh, design nanites and Cody come over here and uh, deactivate the time portal Cosma is cooking us a meal how cute is she so good at cooking so good Lily is almost halfway for her Rhythmicon skill level 5 um, which is good unfortunately Cody Freeman did not win today's lotto Maybe if he spent more, he'd win more. Oh, are you serious? We'll try again. Try again. Alrighty, Cody, why don't you go ahead and uh, let's actually dream about something tonight. Um, let's dream about. Let's dream about family, cause I want them to have some babies. So we're gonna dream about some family and we're gonna come dream as well actually we can just click right here join Cody's dream about family he's like party party animals yes <laughs> 6 a.m. and sleep until 7 Lily uh, she's gonna go ahead and finish eating her autumn salad and then why don't you go to bed as well and sleep in till not 10 a.m. Well, when do you go to work? 3 p.m. So you can actually sleep in. All right, Cosmo's going to go ahead and recharge as well. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in part 11 of Let's Play The Sims 3 into the future. Until then, I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.